Hey everybody, my name is Julia Flynn Worry and I want to welcome you back. Thank you so much for being here on my channel. If you haven't done it yet, please click the link below to subscribe and like my channel. Um, my name is Julia Flynn Worry and I come to you with sales and marketing tips and information. I come by it very honestly. I'm a third generation entrepreneur. Um, my parents started training me in sales when I was about eight years old and that's not an exaggeration. That's the truth. I come to you to share what I've learned over the years and what I've been learning most recently that people need assistance with. I promised in my last video about Facebook and getting started that in this video, I would specifically talk about how to make new friends on Facebook. And I have a couple of great tips and a couple of tips inside of tips, kind of like a little Russian doll to help you get started. Again, my name is Julia Flynn Worry and I've been in sales a long time. I do a lot of things offline, but today we're talking about online and I'm specifically talking about Facebook, but I want you to know that all of these tips and all of this information works on all social media platforms and is kind of like applying life to the online world. That's kind of what I'm doing here. So I want to walk you through a little bit about how to do this. And I'm going to assume first and foremost that you're already on Facebook. Maybe you've seen my first video. Maybe you already have a Facebook or an Alignable or a Nextdoor uh, presence, or maybe you're on LinkedIn. You're already on a social media platform, but you'd like to get more friends or more contacts or more follows or more engagement. Uh, to do that, you really need to have more connections, more people that you're interacting with. And so I'm often asked, well, how do I find people? Where are they? How do I get to them? And what is considered appropriate for talking to people? So that's what I thought I would share with you guys today. So at the end of today's video, you're going to know exactly what to do to get out there and to make some new friends online. First and foremost, think about this as kind of like a gigantic cocktail party or a big social gathering where you're going to meet new people and make new friends. And the first thing that you're doing is you're introducing yourself. So in the last video, I talked about the five pillars that you want to focus on uh, for, for how you're presenting yourself to the outside world. Now, just to get a little deeper dive into that, we're going to do the five pillars in our next video, just to go a little deeper about what I suggest for those those five pillars. But I want to start out with where you can make some new friends. So when you're on Facebook and you get you get started, you're looking to connect with people that you already know first. Those could be friends, family members, people you went to school with. That could be high school or college. It could be people from grade school. I actually have friends from grade school, people that you went to church with, jobs that you've worked um, social clubs that you've been involved in, things like that. You're going to start out by looking for their name. And I do want you to know that in a lot of cases, people don't always use their real name or women might use their maiden name or maybe they're going to use their married name or their first and their middle name. So sometimes it can be quite a little bit of a challenge. But at the very top of Facebook is a search box, is a search bar at the very top where you can start looking for people. I'm going to show you on one of my Facebook pages exactly how to do this searching for individual people so that you can find them. I also want to show you specifically how you can find groups. So step number two for finding people is by joining groups. When you're joining individual groups, you can actually talk and interact with people who have similar interests that you do, or maybe they have different interests to you and you're going to learn more about that interest. Number three, you could also be looking for pages. So pages are different than groups. Pages are where it's a little bit more like a brochure. It's more like a sign or a sign post for businesses than it is for, or individual people, than it is a, a group where you have interaction. And then last but not least, of course, is looking for friends of friends. When you're inside of groups, there are some amazing ways to connect with people. So I think we're going to do another video where we go a little deeper dive into using groups to make some new friends. But let's get started looking at my Facebook page here. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about for, here we go. Oh, I'm on YouTube here, specifically for looking for new friends. So here is my Facebook page. Um, when I first come to Facebook, I actually don't start out on my profile page. A lot of people ask me about that. This is my profile page and people say, well, 
I'm confused. Why don't we start here? When in fact, when you log into Facebook, when you hit home, you actually start out on what's called the news feed. And if you take a look over here on the left, you're going to see some buttons. And the first one is news feed. Your news feed is kind of like uh, the newspaper. You're seeing what's going on with different people and what's happening. Uh, it's kind of cool. Now on my page, what I have, which is I think really helpful and handy is on the right hand side. I've kind of minimized it a little bit. I've, I've made the page smaller by hitting the control button and the minus sign on my computer. And you might have a command button and a minus sign by making it a little smaller so that over here on the right side of the page, I have a list of friends there. And you're going to notice that there are green dots next to my friends. And you know what that means? I don't know if you've ever seen this before. That means those friends are actively online right now. So I know they're actually online right now if I want to reach out to those friends, which is pretty cool. But we're at this point looking for some new friends. So let's start with tip number one, friends and family. This at the top here, the search bar right here at the top, is where I start for searching for friends. I'm gonna hit that button there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that I'm looking for people, and I'm gonna start out with, I'm looking for somebody named John. Now, as soon as I enter any kind of search value in the top here, what happens next is that Facebook gives me these tabs across the top, these buttons across the top, so I can choose if I'm looking for people, or pages, or groups, or places, or events, or links, okay? So I could be choosing anything um, starting out with that name or that word, and I can choose what category I'm looking for. So that's the first category. I think that makes life a lot easier for me if I'm looking for my friend and I'm wondering, oh, where do I find them? I don't want to be looking through places or events for John. I want to be looking for people <laughs> under John. So that, that helps me quite a bit. Go back on over here, okay? Also, you're going to notice that on the left side of the page, there are some other filters, some other filters we can filter our results. This makes life so easy. So let's say that I'm looking for John um, and I'm looking for um, John is actually a person. So I'm going to hit people right there first and the filters are going to change here on the left under friends of friends john under friends of friends well what's cool about that is is that maybe i could find some other john so john's that i personally know or know very well and then acquaintances that i've met named john or julia or sally or mary or whatever the the person's name is and you can start out with people that you already know and search there and then go into friends of friends. I think that is a great way to find people on Facebook that you wanna connect or reconnect with, makes life a lot easier. Now, the second way that I find friends to connect with is to go right back to my screen, is to go onto, let's see here, go back to my personal page and I'm gonna to go to friends that I already have some friends right here. And when I hit friends, I see people that I'm already connected with right here. Okay, and I can see, oh, let's go back. I can see mutual friends. So right underneath of the person's name, there's the name, is mutual friends. And I have five mutual friends right there, or two mutual friends or three mutual friends. So it's cool to be able to click that person, go to their friends list and see, hey, maybe I know a couple more people that I could connect with on their friends list. Now, a lot of people will have their friends list hidden, which I actually do on some of my pages. I have my friends list hidden so that it's not out there, but that's not always the case. So I might be able to connect with a couple people that way. Maybe that we went to high school together or we went to church together or something like that. It makes life a lot easier. That's number two. Then you can do the same thing with your family members. So that's number three. You can go and you can look at uh, friends on families pages. Um, you can also connect with people that they know. But the biggest place to connect with people, I think, is on groups. And you can go to group pages. Let's go to a group here. You can go to a group. And in my case, I am huge into yard sailing. So I'm going to come right here to my yard sale group. Okay. 
actually, I'm going to go to a different yard sale group. I'm going to go to one that I'm not the admin for. It'll be a lot easier. I'm going to type in yard sale here at the top because that's something that I'm interested in. The top here. And you'll notice that I can choose a variety of things. I could choose the words yard sale in a post or people named yard sale or photos of yard sales. I'm looking for groups called yard sale. So I click that and look, I have some great groups, lots of groups actually under yard sale. Now you could do this with any topic. You could do this with uh, gardening or reading books, cooking, um, child care, health and wellness, yoga, um, dogs. I mean, there's a million different things, right? As many things as you can think of is how many groups that there are. And you can join a group. Once you've joined the group and been accepted to the group, you can open that group. On the left side of the page, you go over here and you can find members of that group, okay? When you find the members of that group, you can start looking through those members and see who you might know. And you can add them as a friend, which is cool because if they're in a group with you, they probably have similar interests to you. So tip number three, uh, was first it was friends, then it was family members looking to see who you know through those people. Number three is to go to groups and join some groups and then go and look at the members list and make friends with those people. Now, sometimes it's a little uncomfortable to just dive in and click add friend. I highly recommend that regardless of how you make a friend there, whether it's through your friends list, your family's list, or through your groups list and your members list, that you please send a message to those people. Because what's the point of making a friend if you don't also communicate with them and talk to them and tell them a little bit about yourself and why you would like to connect with them and who you are? This is only going to work if your personal profile page is a little bit more built out. So make sure that your, your personal page, your profile page, has some stuff about you and really tells your story. Make sure that you filled out your entire profile so that they know who you are and that you're a real person that uh, lives in a real place and that you really want to get to know them. Um, these are great ways to get started. Now, if you aren't feeling comfortable yet doing that, especially with groups, if you've just joined a group and you're not really comfortable quite yet jumping right in because you haven't really contributed anything yet, which remember, if you join a group, you want to make sure that you contribute, then what I recommend is that you start commenting and posting in that group so that you can see who else is in that group and maybe start the relationship right through the comments and the, uh, the posts that you see within the group so that you can see who's active in the group, who's an influencer in the group, who's an expert and offer some information yourself so that when you reach back out to those people, um, they know that you're a member of the group. Hey, this is me, it's Julia. I'm a member of the Elkridge Yard Sale Group. I just wanted to touch base with you. I saw what you posted. It was really cool. I like what you said. Uh, I commented on it. I thought it would be great to connect a little deeper, talk a little more, that kind of thing. That works amazingly well for making some new friends. Now listen, once you've done that, don't forget, you can also create your own group so that you can set the tone for the conversation as well. But make sure that you get really comfortable and clear on how groups work before you do that. We'll probably do some more videos on that as we go along. Again, my name is Julia Flynn Worry. I hope that you'll subscribe and like this video. I'm going to be making a lot more videos, sharing more information. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about the five pillars of how to really build out your profile so that when people come to your profile page, they can learn a lot more about you and you can express to the world exactly what you want them to know. Again, thanks so much. My name is Julia Flynn Worry. Have an amazing week and do really well.